Welcome to World Luxury. Join us as we continue to explore the world of the rich and wealthy. In today's video, we'll discover unbelievable houses of the world's richest CEOs. Don't forget to hit that like button, turn on that notification bell, and subscribe to our channel for more interesting videos. Without further ado, let's begin. Jeff Bezos Beginning with the world's wealthiest CEO, Jeff Bezos has served as the CEO of Amazon since 1996 and is estimated to be worth $160 billion. He is the first individual in history to surpass the 12-digit mark in regards to net worth, and that statistic comes with a lot of real estate. Bezos is the 25th greatest landowner in the United States, based on the Land Report magazine. And although the main offices of this multi-billion dollar, soon-to-be trillion dollar firm are in Seattle, Bezos has five residences throughout the country of opportunity he has so eloquently exploited. Bezos currently resides in Seattle with his wife and four children. He currently owns the most expensive home in Washington. The gigantic 27,000 square foot estate was previously a textile museum and is currently undergoing a $12 million refurbishment that combines two separate buildings. The house is one of many stunning mansions in the prestigious Kalorama district. The difference is that this mansion was built with cold hard cash, $23 million to be precise. Once the restoration is completed, Bezos will live next door to the Obamas and the Kushners. Apart from this, he also owns a home in Medina, Washington which received a $28 million renovation, a Beverly Hills home well worth $25 million, three linked apartments in Century Towers over Central Park in New York City worth approximately $8 million, and to top it all off, he owns about a ton of land in Texas. Bill Gates The world's second richest person is no longer a CEO, but his stint as the founder and CEO of Microsoft established him as one of the most well-known people on the planet, and of course, his residence is no exception. Bill Gates' huge mansion, like many of the homes seen in this video, is located in Medina, Washington. The cutting-edge electronics in this home make it a deserving possession of this tech mogul. The lakefront home is 66,000 square feet in size. The masterpiece took 8.7 years and $63 million to build. Bill paid $2 million for the lot in 1988, but since the mansion was built, its estimated value has risen to roughly $130 million. Top-of-the-line detection system technologies are used within the high-tech home to offer visitors with room climate, lighting, and comprehensive management of all the house's amenities and utilities. The house has only eight bedrooms, but can serve as a community gathering space. The home contains 25 bathrooms, 6 kitchens, and a dining room for up to 200 people. The heated 60-foot swimming pool includes a submerged music feature. If it does not fulfill the guest's recreational needs, there is also a large trampoline room. This magnificent property is one of Bill's three most notable residences. He also owns a sprawling ranch in Southern California, which he purchased from fitness guru Jenny Craig. This home is on 228 acres and was purchased for around $18 million, which is really not a big deal when you're worth over $90 billion. This property contains a racetrack, a guest house, an office, a veterinarian suite, an orchard, and five bars. Along with the ranch, Gates has a property in Wellington, Florida, which he paid $8.7 million for. Warren Buffett the third individual on the list has built a reputation for himself and a lot of money by knowing how to make the most of his investments. In fact, Warren Buffett has become so adept at this procedure that he has earned the nickname Oracle of Omaha. Buffett bought his 6,570 square foot Omaha home for $31,500 in 1958 and still resides there today. The property is now worth roughly $800,000 and in keeping his sense of modesty, it isn't even one of the most pricey residences on the block. Buffett is currently selling a home in Laguna Beach for $11 million. In 1971, he bought that house for just $150,000. Despite all of his assets, Buffett chooses to live modestly, 
just miles from his office, that mirrors the low profile of his home. Mark Zuckerberg The fourth CEO on this list is another technology juggernaut and the fifth richest man in the world. Mark Zuckerberg, co-creator and CEO of Facebook, and his wife Priscilla live in a quaint $7 million home in Palo Alto. This 5,617-square-foot home was constructed in 1903 and features oak floors, a saltwater pool, a banquet-sized dining room, five bedrooms, and five bathrooms. At first glance, one might think that Zuckerberg is spending his millions in the manner of Warren Buffett, but this is definitely not the case. The home is simply straight out of a Marvel comic, with AI controlling the entire property. Zuckerberg refitted the house with a custom-made artificially intelligent helper named Jarvis. And yes, it really is after the same character originally seen in Marvel's Iron Man. In true billionaire fashion, Mark has also purchased $30 million in property around his Palo Alto home, in case he ever decides he doesn't want to have any neighbors. In addition to his home, he recently purchased an off-market estate in 2013 for more than $10 million. The property in Dolores Heights has a total space of 5,542 square feet. He eventually spent another $1.6 million to refurbish the house, adding an office, a cinema room, a half bathroom, a mudroom, a laundry room, a wine room, and a wet bar. He also installed a new roof and landscaping. But the Facebook CEO's most expensive real estate purchase is a pair of land plots in Kauai that he paid $100 million for. He intends to develop 700 acres of land for lavish family vacations. These land parcels offer 2,500 square foot ocean view and an organic garden that is operational. The designs call for the construction of a two-bedroom house as well as a 16-bay garage complex. Steve Jobs Steve Jobs, another humble wealthy CEO, died in 2011. He was the millionaire technological trailblazer of Apple at the time, and he also lived in Palo Alto in a 1930s Tudor-style home. This lovely home was on half an acre and was 5,768 square feet, and there are seven bedrooms and four and a half baths in all. The house was very much in the British country style and it blended in wonderfully with the rest of the calm neighborhood, rather than standing out as the luxurious property of a high-tech entrepreneur. Oprah Winfrey Moving on to Oprah Winfrey, who is best recognized as the most popular talk show personality of all time and the CEO of Harper Productions. Oprah lives a luxurious lifestyle, no question. In 2001, she paid a whopping $50 million for her 23,000-square-foot Montecito house. The enormous estate is around 6 miles from downtown Santa Barbara. Winfrey also paid $14 million for this 8,700-square-foot mansion in Telluride, Colorado in 2014. She then paid nearly $29 million at an auction for a 23-acre horse farm estate in 2016. She also bought 163 acres of Mount Halayekala property on the slopes of the caldera for more than $30 million. Oprah has amassed an astonishing collection of million-dollar real estate over the years since becoming one of the world's first female billionaires. Elon Musk Elon Musk, CEO of Tesla and SpaceX, as well as the creator of PayPal and many other titles, is no stranger to millions of dollars in real estate. Musk owns $72 million worth of real estate in the Los Angeles area. One of these mansions was originally owned by Gene Wilder and was purchased by Musk for $6.7 million. He converted the estate into a private school for his six children in 2013. As one would anticipate from Musk's inventive work at Tesla and SpaceX, all of his homes are outfitted with cutting-edge or even previously unseen technology. Musk paid $24.2 million for a new residence in Los Angeles' prestigious Bel Air neighborhood in 2016. Musk's most recent purchase is his fifth home in the same area, which he is actively developing. When you add this to the $48 million he spent on earlier residences, his total real estate investment in the area is roughly $72 million. All of the properties are near to one another, 
giving the tech mogul his own largest date in an already exceedingly expensive zip code in the Santa Monica Mountains foothills. Larry Ellison Larry Ellison, not the CEO but the CTO of Oracle, is another well-known billionaire who just had to be included. His residence in Woodside, California is fashioned after a 16th century Japanese emperor's palace and is valued roughly $70 million. It took nine years to plan and develop the 23-acre estate, which was completed in 2004. Ellison also has a historic garden property in Kyoto, Japan, which was recently put for sale for $86 million. Along with the palace and garden, he collaborated with film director Robert De Niro and Nobu Matsuhisa, the brain behind the Nobu Sushi business, to transform the historic Kansa Malibu Inn into a high-end Japanese concept hotel which opened in April. In 2007, Ellison paid $20 million for the facility, and accommodations currently start at roughly $1,100. Along with his love of Japan and the real estate he's amassed around the world, he also owns many million-dollar residences in Malibu. At least 11 of these houses are located on the well-known Carbon Beach. Ellison owns a lot more in California including a racket club he bought for slightly under $7 million. Mukesh Ambani Mukesh Ambani is yet another CEO who shouldn't be ignored. Ambani is the richest guy in India and the 19th richest person in the world. I have to include him in this video because he has the most expensive property in the world. If you were one of these CEOs, where would you purchase your real estate? And how much would you spend on building or reconstructing them? Post your thoughts and comments in the section below. We'd love to hear from you. Be sure to leave a like and subscribe to our channel. We're hoping to see you in our future videos.